Your students at Indian Hill High School found a solution to clear forever chemicals out of their community tap water. WCPO 9 News reporter Deja Gross explains how they plan to bring filtered water to their school. Jack and Graham Cruzy are students at Indian Hill High School. Since 2023, these two brothers have made it their mission to have clean drinking water in their community. Growing up, we always had a water filter underneath our kitchen sink, so we had clean water, but we knew that um, others in our community may not have this privilege. And we thought that um, clean water is a right, not a privilege, so we decided to take action. Leading them to co-found the Indian Hill Pure Water Project nonprofit. Sharing years of research, in 2004, the Ohio EPA performed a source water assessment that determined contamination of the aquifer. Among those chemicals detected is PFOS, Forever Chemicals. Went to the Cincinnati Waterworks facility and we realized that one of the key details, one of the main things that they have to prevent the PFOS from going into their water was a filter called a granular activated carbon filter. Changes in liver function. And because of these reasons, we must solve the crisis as soon as possible. Jack and Graham shared their research with the mayor and council of the village of Indian Hill. They voted to upgrade the village's municipal water filtration system, but it will cost the village $23 million to make it happen. This river actually sits above the um, aquifer that our water comes from. The village has contracted with an engineering firm to try to make the Cruzies dream a reality, meaning Indian Hill and surrounding municipalities could have clean water by April 2029. In the meantime, we want to have good water at our schools so we don't have bad drinking water for the children there. In Indian Hill, Deja Gross, WCPO 9 News.